Hi, your choice here. Thanks for joining me again for another session of Choice Spirit. Today, I want to speak a little bit about again and strengthening our roots, <laughs> fertilizing our roots, or uprooting some uprooting some of those roots that just need to come up out of there. And so, thinking about a video I had uploaded. When I talk about how much of what we're trying to, uh, much of what we're going through as young people, as older people, people growing up, has a lot to do with some of the beliefs and information that has, we have stored along the way that is really a part of our subconscious mind, if you will. It's part of our information within our psyche that runs us, that we don't real, always realize is there, but it actually dictates the decisions that we make and uh, even some of the people we attract into our lives and, this, and many of the situations we attract into our lives and the thoughts that we think because a lot of times people think the thoughts just come to us no the the we are magnetic so therefore we attract thoughts we attract thoughts but we don't always know how we're attracting thoughts. We're thinking thoughts just come into our minds. No, we attract thoughts as a result of things that we have accumulated along the way that's there. And it's a, it's a strong magnetic uh, waves that are attracting thoughts that then come our way. Okay, that's how it works. But we'll go into that in another video. But let me get back. <laughs> It's, it's, it's um, information that we learn as children during our impressionable years, information that is even embedded within our DNA, information that we continue to learn even up until this day that is keeping us off balance. In other words, we can't seem to clear up some of the things that are pulling our strings. That's, oh wow, we're going to go into that too. That are maneuvering us. As we get older, we find we're attracting all kinds of craziness into our lives. And a lot of that has to do with things that are rooted, that's in that subconscious mind and also the, the vibes that we're sending out. So we're attracting all kinds of things, but the vibes we are sending out are, are, are frequency. It's, it's vibes that are being sent out from our psyche, meaning that we could be at our best feeling like we're doing okay and then all of a sudden we call forth some things that all of a sudden we call forth some things that we, we quite don't understand where it's coming from but much of it is coming from something from within that we have embedded along the way and don't know is still there. So with that said, I'm going on to say this. How do we begin to go in and strengthen the stuff that we love and uproot some of the things that we just need to do away with? Now, there, I was going into telling you there are many ways we can do this. There are many ways. I mean, people, like I've mentioned before, go through hypnotherapy, uh, go for hypnosis. People do this thing called tapping, the tap out stuff. And we'll talk about that in another video. People meditate, affirmations, we do all kinds of things. All of that is wonderful. Some go for therapy, all of that. A simplified way of getting at this at some, and pulling up some of that deep-rooted stuff that we just want to do away with. When you can still your mind, you just, you know, get still. Thoughts will keep coming. They will continue to come. But there is a way when you still yourself, you can still yourself enough 
to where the thoughts that are coming in slow down. Where you can become aware of what thoughts, what's coming into your mind, what keeps replaying. When that thought comes up, check it out. Turn it around and say, replace it with something else. Replace it with something else. Or ask yourself, what is this about? The moment you feel that thought, even if you're busy throughout the day and a thought comes into your mind, ask, you, ask yourself, stop and check it. Say, okay, what is this about? What is this about? Why am I feeling this way? Does it make sense? If you find yourself getting angry all of a sudden, check it. Why am I angry over this? Why, what is it about this thing that's making me angry, that I feel or perceive as it being something that causes anger? Resentment, jealousy, frustration. I'm not talking about the good feeling vibes. I'm only talking about the things that may be getting in the way of your joy, of your bliss, of your happiness, of your ability, of your ability to, to call things forth that you really want to experience, you would love to experience in your life. So check it. What is it? If you find that it's causing you to a, a reaction, you can feel something beginning to come up in your gut or something that you're kind of like wanting to shake. You have, this means being, being as honest with yourself as possible. What is it? Because there's a few things you must know. First of all, it would not be there if it was not within your own mind. Number one. Number two, it, will not, it would not be there if you did not call it forth with your vibes in the way of your being or by whatever quite whatever you ask for somehow this was an opportunity that the universal the universe the laws that are within that are planted within our realm has allowed that frequency to connect with another frequency that brought whatever it was into your experience so, the first thing is, it would not be there if it was not all within your mind. The next thing is, it would not be there if you had not attracted it, attracted it to yourself. The third thing is, it would not have any meaning if you did not give it meaning. Everything is what you say it is. Everything is what you say it is. The fourth thing is, is your choice. <laughs> you control it. You control it. You control all of it. So when you go through this, and there's some others, you know, we go through this video another time, you know what I mean? But there's some other things, but I will suggest that when you catch a thought that comes into your mind that's causing something to rise up within you or causes fear or anger or anything that you, don't, that you prefer not to have, run through those questions. Run through those questions. You ask yourself those questions straight up. Or at least acknowledge 
or become aware acknowledge or become aware that it's all in your mind it's not someone else thinking of this stuff and putting it in your head well <laughs> story for another video but it's it's not it's it's within your mind that you have complete control over and you can choose and decide how to turn that thought over so that it's not affecting you in the same way. So anyway, choice here, quick word. Thank you so very much for tuning in. Peace.